saw this table come together we get asked all the time how Aaron built the tables in our greenhouse and we needed to make one more for this spring so we decided it would be fun to film it and I'm going to talk you through the process of building one of these now um, so these are three by eight tables when Aaron initially built these tables it was the first fall right after we had moved in from this house we had the greenhouse put in and we had no money left over and so the tables he built were actually a stripped down version from this one this one now has handles it has wheels it has way more lumber um, because through those these years of using those tables we've kind of learned what works and what doesn't but it's still like a middle of the ground I think price wise I mean when we very first were here I was using cinder blocks and a piece of plywood to hold plants up off the ground and then we made the simple tables that fall and then you know yeah because we researched a bunch of different types of uh, greenhouse tables and they were so expensive um, so this one works perfect for me three by eight totally scalable to whatever situation you have and whatever size you need but these fit two proven winners flats of plants beautifully and that's usually what we have in the greenhouse um, while i still can reach to the back because a lot of times we have the tables pushed up against the wall and I don't have access all the way around. So I need to be able to reach plants in the back easily without like raking over all the plants in the front and wrecking them. Um, the difference now is that our old tables only have, I think three or four braces in the center and this one has nine total. Um, so I can put a lot heavier things on here and not have them like, uh, like weigh the, stretch the hardware cloth out. If you're just putting flats of plants on, you can get away with far less bracing because they're really not that heavy. But I end up putting like some containerized stuff in three gallon cans and stuff, and those get pretty darn heavy. Um, so this table took us a little under two hours to actually build, like from cutting the wood and everything. Of course, there was two of us working on it, so that's super helpful. That doesn't include shopping time. That was probably another couple hours to gather everything up, just to give you an idea. And I will tally up the cost. Um, I have all the receipts, and now that we have this done, I can figure out exactly how much it costs for us to build this, and I'll put that down in the description down below. So what we did first was we cut all of our pieces of wood. Now we bought eight foot boards, and they're all pressure treated two by fours because that's what will last and hold up in the greenhouse. Uh, we didn't have to cut the outer two pieces because they are eight feet. And then we did 11 33 inch boards. 
So two of them ended up, one on either side as a brace piece, and then there are nine. So we created a frame first by laying the two uh, eight foot boards down and then we tacked on the ends. And then we just did one of these at every foot mark. So the top framework was built first. And then we have four legs that measure 34 inches tall. And before we attached these, we drilled holes for this metal rod. And this metal rod measures three feet. You can buy them in pre-determined lengths like that. So we didn't have to cut any metal at all, but we wanted the holes to be there. So it was easy once we had them attached. So we did that first. Then we attached the legs to use that three foot rod. We had to put another piece of wood right in here. You can see we had to bring the legs in just slightly. So we had enough leeway on either side so that the metal rod would go all the way through the tire, if that makes sense. So that's what we attached next. We attached the brace piece and then the leg. And then we ran the rod through the hole we had drilled and there's a washer and a nut in there. And then there's another washer, then the tire, then another nut. So they work really well with wheels. So I think we've got eight or nine tables in the greenhouse with no wheels on them at all. And they're fine. They are pretty stationary. We keep them where they're at for the most part, but the tables that run down the center, we like to be able to open up the doors and wheel the tables out once it gets really hot. And we have the ability to you know, have a mobile is really, really nice. So after the uh, leg assembly was on, we cut the side pieces and you didn't really I don't even think we measured these. We just took scrap wood that we had and we cut angles, 45 degree angles on either end and attached them. They don't line up perfect. In fact, nothing about this table is perfect. It's like my dream project. I love it. The only thing I used a level on was this right here. Um, everything else is like kind of off, but it doesn't matter because it's on gravel. So you'd never know the difference. So you could take this basic idea and like, I don't know, do it a lot better than we did. So the brace pieces went on on all four corners and then this piece went on last kind of as the, in terms of the wood part. Then we flipped it upright and attached these handles, which this makes it nice for this kind of deal. And we chose this type instead of something that was more stationary because we wanna be able to butt the tables right up next to each other. And then we attached the hardware cloth. So one of us held on to the roll so it didn't go all over the place because once those rolls start un like undoing themselves, they just will take off across the room. And we tacked it down and just with these, um, what are they called, uh, staples? They're like a, they're for like chicken wire. They're U-shaped, U-nail. I think it's a U-nail. Yeah, so we just use those every so often while the other person kind of held the hardware cloth and pulled it and then cut it off on one end when we were all done. It did overlap the side just a tiny bit because I came in too far on that side. So we just bent it down with a hammer and just kind of, which is kind of perfect because some of the other tables, we decided to cut it instead. But if you lean on it, it kind of grabs your shirt sometimes. So this is actually a better way to go about it, I think. So that's pretty much it. I realized that Many of you probably won't find yourself in the position to need one of these kind of tables, but we get so many questions about it. I thought it would be something fun and different to show you guys. And you never know, you might find yourself with a big hoard of plants that you need to raise up off the ground and make easier to work on and water and all that business. Um, so if you find yourself in that position, now you know where to look, to a video to watch to learn how to build a very simple table. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.